To add a new customer in Aljax, go to Dispatch to the Customer File, Option A, and go down to Add a Customer. You can enter the company by name, or you can utilize their phone number, and it will often autofill in their address. Type in your company's name and their address. You can bypass city and state and just enter in the zip code and it will autofill in the city and state. Phone numbers do not need slashes or dashes and same with fax number. You can enter in a store number, a contact, and their extension. Any sales rep that might be associated, if you just type in one letter and hit enter, let's see here, we don't have any valid sales rep numbers, so we can press F6 to select from the list, and then just arrow down, just happy Harry, and are they associated with an agent or office? If you keep looking to the center of the screen, it gives more information about each field. Are we to use the customer as a bill to? What are their hours? A login and password. If, they, if you utilize our web services, this would be their access information. And whether or not uh, you would want them on a mailing list. Enter their product information here. Okay. And down here we have a comment area, which is internal use only. And if you had anything specific to put on their invoices, you would enter it down here. Once we're all done, we would hit Escape, Escape to save the information. Okay. And we can exit our Add Customer option. You can simply enter a customer with that basic information. If you want to add more information in, let's go back and look up Alex's apples. You have a listing of hotkeys on the left-hand side, which will take you to all the different areas within the file. Option two is your setup. You have dispatch setup, accounting and e-billing, commissions, burst communications, EDI, broker and MC, and loading and unloading hours. Dispatch setup will give you specific options that you can choose for your customer, such as do you want to create same tags for the customer, do they require pickup confirmations or delivery confirmations, or possibly require delivery appointments. So as you go through your options, <coughs> you can choose how to customize this customer. Also, you have your PC miler information here, whether or not to automatically calculate the mileage with PC or RAND and whether it's short, practical, or national network. And hitting option two again, you would have your accounting and e-billing set up located here. And just like dispatch, you have specific options for the customer. Are you going to send them past due letters? What are their invoice terms? Do they require mileage on the invoices? And in the center of the screen is the setup for e-billing. And lastly, pressing option two, I want to cover burst communication setup. And this is the area where you would set up for burst email and faxes to go to your customer. This area is for pickup and delivery confirmation. So if we want to have an email sent to the customer, we would type in an E for email, type in the contact name, their email address, 
And in this case, we don't have any facts that's needed. But maybe they want an activity report, a shipment status report, to be faxed. So we can hit F for facts. And maybe that goes to somebody else in the company. Oh, we don't need any email address, but I guess you could put it there if need, so you would have it for future reference. And then we would type in their fax number here. This area, again, is for printing or emailing invoices, and also who accounts receivable statements would go to. Escape, escape to save. Hotkey number three is for directions. So this would be suggested routing to the customer. If you hit U to update, it's the same as suggested routing for customer. And the comments down here will appear on brokerage carrier rate confirmations. And escape, escape. So we went through our customer setup and preferences. We were just on the suggested routing. Any credit information is the next screen. The DMB, federal ID number, where do the bills go to, and if there's a credit limit set, and what is it. And then it will give you a running total that's calculated for total sales, balance due, unbilled, and year-to-date billing as their history gets built up. And same here on the right-hand side as well. And escape, escape. We have a telemarketing contact screen, which is simply all the contacts within the company. And fuel charge setup, additional contacts, loading and unloading hours. Most of it is pretty self-explanatory. If we hit option one, to go back to the main customer file screen, you will see again that the numbers two through zero will correlate to the different pages that we just covered. And that's how to enter a new customer and set them up in the customer file. Thank you.